And here's our last tip. Leave them wanting more. Make sure to keep our visit brief and leave them wanting more. What approach can we use? Set up a question for the next visit. Hmm, that's interesting. So this thought leads us to another question. If God allows suffering to happen, when will he put an end to it? That's a good question. But since I mentioned I would be brief, could I maybe come back Saturday? Then I can answer this question and also the other one you asked. Yeah, that would be great. There it is. Three easy steps that can help us be more comfortable and also help us make successful return visits. Be warm and friendly, continue our discussion, and leave them wanting more. Thank you, Marcelo, for those hot tips on how to conduct a return visit if you're in the business of indoctrinating people into becoming Jehovah's Witnesses. So, yes, leave them wanting more seems to be the, the gist of what we've just heard. And this is done by asking a question, leaving the conversation on a cliffhanger where you pose a thought-provoking question and promise to answer it on your return, which in this case is in just a few days. Now, interestingly, I don't know whether it's still the same, but when I was a Jehovah's Witness, we were expected to make weekly return visits. And if you think about it, that is not a great deal of time between conversations. So imagine you are the householder here and you just indulge these people who've called at you unannounced, un unexpected. You perhaps realise that they're Jehovah's Witnesses and you decide to indulge your curiosity by you know giving them a conversation and then they're back at your home in seven days or less and here an arrangement is made to call back on Saturday again it's not very realistic is it I can remember in the rare instances where I did call exactly a week after the initial visit, I felt a little bit like I was stalking the person. I felt I felt like I was kind of harassing them. For me, a comfortable period between return visits was more like two weeks. Granted, I was never truly successful. This is all about successful return visits in that I never thankfully managed to convert someone to becoming a Jehovah's Witness after encountering them in the preaching work. But nonetheless, this is how pushy Jehovah's Witnesses are expected to be. And this is frankly how strategic they are when it comes to scheming their way into turning you into one of them. <laughs>